Your path is not going to be identical to anyone else's. Everyone is so different. It's my little promise to you guys. Good morning guys. I'm literally feeling absolutely amazing today. It's just an amazing day. The vibes are immaculate. Like everything about today is amazing. Oh, I'm just feeling amazing. I'm spreading these positive vibes your way right now because everyone deserves to feel like this every single day. It's kind of hot in here. I'm just driving to my local mailbox because I have a package in the mail that I want to unbox in the vlog today because it's some clothing. So I'm just going to grab the package and give you guys a little bit of a haul when I get home. Summer clothes coming. I feel like I really slack in the summer clothing department just because i don't know my summer things are just too plain i feel like i haven't really like been venturing out of plain tank tops like plain shorts i need to spice my wardrobe up this summer it just needs to be spiced up so i can't wait to give you guys a little haul when i get home by the way this is just because we took zeus on a walk this morning so i had to cover my seats but also you guys i'm literally obsessed with this tote bag that i made it is so cute i'm obsessed with tote bags in general but it turned out so good i'm really proud of myself like look how cute that is it really does look like professional yeah it's gonna be like sunny and cloudy today which is amazing because it's not gonna rain the weather's getting amazing so i'm so happy about that and i think i want to go watch the sunset today just because it's gonna be such a beautiful day so let's hope we get the chance to do that because i have so much shit to do today i have a lot of work things to do this month for like my work work my job so there's gonna be a lot to do for that and also keeping up with three videos you know it's gonna be a good time though it's gonna be good we're gonna be productive this month but anyways i'm gonna go pick up my package now Oh, you guys, I got two packages. I don't know if they're from like the same place or if it's two different things. I'm not sure. Does anyone else like literally love getting packages? Like I just, it's just so exciting. Like you order something, you're waiting for it and then it finally comes. So I got this little one. And then I got this one. I'm assuming this is like the clothing. I don't know what the box is, so we'll see. We will see. I literally just realized I forgot to show you guys my nails. Like what the hell? Um, They turned out so, so, so freaking cute. Like. I love the colors, like the purple. I'm literally in love. I'll link the nail polish set that I use and the UV light so you guys can check that out. Gel is just the way to go because if I paint my nails with regular polish, they'll chip in two seconds. Like they will not last and I always end up messing them up. This is like my new favorite thing at the moment. Oh my God, they're literally adorable. Like I can't, I can't. <gasps> Okay, welcome to the unboxing corner. Let's open her up. Or so this is a Yes Style haul. So basically Yes Style is kind of like an AliExpress, if you guys know what AliExpress is, but everything on there is more trusted. This did take a while to come. It took like three weeks, I think three and a half weeks, almost a month. I do have a coupon code for you guys, so I'll leave it down below if you guys want to shop there using my code, but just beware that like it does take a while to come. It's like a very cheap website, but just make sure to like also read the reviews on products, make sure they're good. So yeah. Okay, so I just switched my mirror over here because you guys know the deal. It's really bad lighting over on that wall. So I we just put it here in the corner anyways so here's the first thing i got is this tote bag this is honestly very very good quality and it also has a button and a zipper in here which i've never seen a tote bag have that before so it's kind of really handy and it's super cute very trendy tote bags are so in the colors are so cute i really like this like shade of blue yeah that's what it says on there but yeah 10 out of 10 okay so here's the next item it's just this brown top this honestly feels like a top that i would get from like brandy melville or something the quality is actually really good and it's like stretchy it's very comfortable. I just love tank tops like this scoop around the neck and then short sleeve But like tight and kind of crop this one actually surprised me because I was really skeptical about what the quality was going to be like But you know, it really is impressing me 10 out of 10 for this one Okay, so here is this tank top. Honestly, the quality is not amazing on this one. The last top was way better, but it's worth the price since it is very cheap. It is like worth the price, if that makes sense. Feels like it's something you'd get off of like Shein. So it's not like horrible, but it's not like obviously the best quality. But yeah, this is just really cute. It has like a little angel design on it, which is really cute. And it is kind of see-through. As you can see, you can kind of see like my sports bra outline because it is cheaper quality. That's definitely why, but it is overall cute. Okay, so here is the next thing that I got. I'm in love with this, you guys guys like are you kidding me the colors the yellow and the green so cute it says hawaii and that is right up my alley because right now i'm like manifesting to go to hawaii i'm gonna go once the restrictions lift so so cute kind of repping it already quality of this is really good i think this was one of the more expensive things that i got it was like 30 dollars, but it is worth it i'll put all my sizes and the links down below so don't worry 10 out of 10 for this one i think i'm gonna be wearing this today to be honest because it's just so cute okay so here's the next thing that i got this is kind of like a cute ass halter top the quality is kind of like that spandex -y 
material, but it's not like bad quality at all. It's super in trend right now. I'm really obsessed with like the pattern on it, the pink on it. Like I think that this is so cute. It kind of just like takes a basic tank top up to another level. Back is so cute. It's just like open. I love open back things for the summer. Okay, so here's the next shirt that I got. I actually really love the vibe of this. Like here, I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see like the pattern on it. But this is very in trend right now. And this is kind of like the one of the crazy prints that are really in style. So I really love this and it's kind of out of my comfort zone. So it's gonna kind of force me to style this. Like this is actually really cute. It adds a fun pop of color to an outfit. And the back is really cute. The back is like a crisscross green strappy thing and it's really really cute yes i actually am really digging this okay so here is the next thing that i got and i'm actually obsessed with this dress you guys how freaking cute this is just perfect for like a summer night out when you want to dress up but like not too fancy and it kind of like scrunches up and ties here it is so cute i can see myself wearing this when i come back from a long day at the beach and then like we're going out for dinner wearing this with like sandals it's so cute and the color also obviously brown is super in trend right now so <coughs> it's a win-win Okay, I am absolutely obsessed with this one. Absolutely obsessed. Like, holy shit, you guys. This is so cute. This is another dress. After the beach type of vibes, going out for dinner with your friends, throw on some sandals or sneakers. Oh my gosh, I'm actually obsessed with this. Give you guys a little bit of a zoom in on the pattern. So beautiful. I'm obsessed with this blue color as well. It's just so cute. If I can't find anything to wear, I'll throw on like a little dress because it's so easy and so freaking cute. So yeah. Okay, I just I just can't with their dresses you guys. This is literally so freaking cute like like this is another kind of after the beach, throw on your sandals type of thing. After your shower, you're all tanned. Throw on your sandals, go to dinner. Oh my goodness gracious, this is adorable. The back is like a halter, so freaking cute. Here's a little zoom in on the pattern. Okay, so the last thing that I got from YesStyle is this ring. And these like colorful, weird ass rings are really in style now. Honestly, this was like pretty big, so it just fit on my thumb. But I love thumb rings, I think they're so cute. And I definitely wanna get like more rings in general, but this is just so cute. And I love the brown, it's adorable. Okay, so that was it for that random little haul. Thank you to Yes Style. Um, I will put my coupon code and everything on the screen right now and link everything down below for you guys. It does take a long time to ship, so if you guys want it for summer, get on it. And I just want to say how freaking grateful I am that I'm actually like receiving clothing for free to promote. I just want to make a promise to you guys that everything that I promote is going to be 100% authentic. If a product is shit, like I will tell you the product is shit. Even if they're offering me a lot of money to promote it, I won't promote anything that I think is shit because I don't want you guys wasting your money but i just always want to make sure to be very authentic and real to you guys if i'm getting stuff for free and if i'm getting like brand deals so i can either choose to just do it for the money or to actually build a trusted audience so you guys can trust me with what i'm like talking about the product and you know it's not bullshit so that's the route that i want to take like i always want to be 100 percent authentic and whatever i promote i want to love and share with you guys so yeah, that's just a little disclaimer. Moving forward with my videos. Oh god, that sounded so formal. It's my little promise to you guys. Okay, welcome to my desk area. I'm going to be writing down my little spiel for the day because I just have a lot to do and it's already 1.20. I had a very late start to the day today just because like my period and you guys get it. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. I'm trying to think of the first thing to do. I need to get at least one video back for my work. I need to finalize the video that's going up today just because I still need to link stuff that I said I would link in the description. Oh, I still need to make the thumbnail for Wednesday's video. Okay, we gotta do that. I gotta finish this vlog, so I'm just gonna write that in. Honestly, I think that Monday is also a very good day to be mentally productive, meaning like Monday, start your week off fresh, like meditate, do whatever makes you feel good, like go on a walk if that makes you feel good, go to the gym if that makes you feel good. I think Monday is a really good day to mentally be productive. Start of the week, so you definitely wanna be mentally prepared for that. So yeah, and I would really encourage you guys to ask yourselves like not just what you have to get done in the day But what you want to get done in the day as well and think about like what you can do to nurture yourself that day So for example like today I want to go and watch the sunset and that's like something that's gonna nurture me nurture my soul make me happy What you write down doesn't necessarily have to be like the things that you have to get done But I think it's also really important to take into consideration that it's really important to leave space and time to do things that is gonna nurture you and make you happy 
happy. So I think that's really, really important to add into every single day. It's very important to have a, a healthy balance. So you just got to find the perfect balance and whatever works for you. I think that everyone is so different. So that's why you can't go look at another person's routine and what they do and think to yourself, like, I'm so lazy and shitty because I don't do that. No, maybe that routine makes them feel good. So that's amazing for them. But if you tried that, you may not even like it. So I feel like it's really important that everyone finds their own groove and their own kind of routine and what they love to do and just incorporate that into your own way and make your own routine off of what you love and what makes you feel good. But yeah, that's why it's just so important never to compare yourself with other people because everyone feels good with doing different things. Okay, my video that's actually going up Friday this week is not even like edited yet. So Joel's doing the rough cuts on that. If you guys didn't know, Joel helps me so much with my YouTube channel and just like anything that I need help with. That's how I am producing three videos a week is because of him. So he's amazing. He's doing my rough cuts right now. So after he's done the rough cuts, I need to go in and re-edit it. Not re-edit it, but like I bring the video to life kind of thing. Like I add the music, I do extra cuts, and then I put like all the effects and everything in. He pretty much narrows down like it could be hours of footage into like a 20 minute video. So that is like a huge time saver for me. He's the reason why I'm posting three times a week. Eventually, like if you guys are wondering more details about how we work together and all that, I will eventually in the future, we both will sit down and like make a whole video about it maybe. But yeah, I don't wanna go too into depth about like everything right now but so that's the last thing on my to-do list pretty much filled up all the lines there but before we start all this i think i'm gonna make myself like a matcha um because i would make a coffee but uh i'm on my period which means coffee does not sit well with my stomach it's really not a good idea so i'm gonna go down make a matcha and then conquer the tasks for the day i'm feeling honestly amazing today so even though i have cramps i'm mentally feeling just so amazing that it's not so bad let's be productive <laughs> That is divine. That is absolutely divine. Mm. Gonna get pumped up. So excited to start my work day. Making like a good drink in the morning just starts things off right. That's like one of the things that make me happy throughout the day and that, you know, nurtures my, my mental and I guess my physical, but just making like a nice drink in the morning to be happy about and look forward to. Yum. Okay, you guys, so it's currently 8.45 p.m. and I literally didn't vlog all day because I was working on one YouTube video for the whole day. Like it took me so long to edit and then I just made dinner so it wasn't really anything special. But I am just driving Madison to Shoppers Drug Mart because she just needs to pick something up and she doesn't have her car right now. So I'm just zipping out to do that. So We're getting the winter tires off. Yeah, finally. This should have been done a few months ago, we'll but it's fine. Um, yeah, so we're just zipping out to quickly do that and that's about it and we're gonna go home eat dinner This day just feels like it went by so fast. Like I feel like there wasn't enough time in today I don't know how it's already eight o'clock and I wanted to watch the sunset But that didn't work out either because we were gonna go with Julia Juliana and Joel But Juliana couldn't go anymore and also I was kind of caught up with my work like I didn't have enough time So there was that <laughs> which is fine. The sunset wasn't even that nice tonight anyway, so it's not a big deal We're gonna go tomorrow instead it's okay tomorrow we're gonna make it a longer day we're gonna wake up earlier so we're mainly in here for dry shampoo because Madison at home like, gobbles like, it up but anyways the point is is that I found this really this big good? wine glass I think it's really funny <laughs> it's only five bucks too the question is is it greasy I don't know like that doesn't tell me much do you want to use mine my Australian gold one which is the best one ever best one ever yeah our sunscreens are literally from 10 years ago and i didn't even know that sunscreens expire but they apparently do so make sure to check the date on your sunscreens this summer so y'all don't get burnt like lobsters yes i'm talking to you juliana you guys i'm actually like kind of addicted to smart sweets like i don't think you know like i have a big sugar sugar craving and they feed that addiction with no sugar so it's just they're amazing and every time i go somewhere i have to get a bag but they don't have any here which is really disappointing so smart sweets again if you want to sponsor me i wouldn't mind <laughs> anyways Jeez. let's get out of here once I start eating candy, like I can't, like I'll be like one more, one more. And I, and I, I don't have self-control because it's just so good. So with Smart Sweets, it's just like, I don't feel guilty. Okay, you guys, so 
I just finished writing in this journal and this is a new monthly thing that I've been thinking about doing like I haven't done this yet before so this is like something new I don't know I've just been thinking recently that I want um, something more concrete something written down to look back on in the future and I just want to reflect on my months I feel like months have been passing me by and I haven't been really reflecting on them and sitting down once a month and just seeing how it went did I accomplish my goals like I haven't really been doing that and that's something that I really want to start doing is more goal setting and more reflection so I had this journal and it was pretty much blank so I decided that I was going to do a little monthly reflection so this is what I did so I did a May reflection and then I did a June goal so I have all my goals for June jotted down here with little boxes on the side so that I can check them off as I go and basically I gave myself some monthly reflection questions I'll read them out to you guys so if you guys want to copy these questions you could or you can make your own so these are my questions for the reflection that I made what lessons have you learned this month are you happy or satisfied with how the month turned out overall greatest accomplishments this month and was there any roadblocks that I pushed through so I'm going to try to keep that up and reflect on every single month because I feel like that's really important for self growth and just to see your progress because I feel like a lot of the times we make really great pro progress mentally physically but we don't even notice it because it happens so subtly that if you don't compare it to the past you won't really notice it at all so I feel like by writing things down I'm gonna really be able to reflect and see how much I've grown or to see the next steps I need to take to see what I'm lacking and yeah I just really been wanting to reflect more and just jot things down to have them for my future self to look back on because I feel like that's just so cool a lot of people I feel like who are working towards their goals they just want to get there so bad and like that's me too obviously but it's very important as well to enjoy your journey because everyone has such a unique path like your path is not going to be identical to anyone else's so I feel like it's so important to notice that and to enjoy your path along the way instead of just focusing on the end and goal like yeah obviously you want to manifest it and you want to set goals to get there but it's also really important to enjoy the journey because once you reach your goals and once you're there you might want to go back to where you are right now and experience that it's just really important to enjoy every single step of the way that you're on because you're exactly where you need to be right now everyone is on their own unique path so that's why it's so important to not compare yourself to other people because everyone is on their own path and everything happens within divine timing so don't stress about it okay and then what I also did on this next page is I put down a whole bunch of um, subscriber plaques and I put 15,000, 20,000, 25, and I just went up by like fives all the way until 100,000. So I'm just gonna be coloring them in as I hit them. So I feel like this is just like fun. It's gonna be cool to see them like halfway or when they're all the way colored in. Like it's just really cool seeing your goals come to life. So this is gonna kind of be something fun and cool for me to do. And then I'm gonna look back on this video maybe and be like, oh my God, I only had one of these colored in. I really just wanna try and enjoy the journey as much as possible. And I really encourage you guys to try and enjoy your journey much as much as possible as well. Enjoy it before it's too late because one day you're gonna be there where you've accomplished your goals and you're gonna be like shit like i kind of wish that i was working towards them like i kind of miss that like i feel like i, I don't want to miss out on that i don't want to feel guilty for not fully living out the journey you know so i know it's like easier said than none because i'm always focusing on the end goal but trying to enjoy the journey but yeah so if you guys want to do a monthly reflection i highly encourage you guys to make one because i literally just took an old notebook and wrote everything in with my crayons so i encourage you guys to do that as well because it's just something fun and really good to reflect on and it resets you for every single month you can set new goals you can reflect on what happened and everything so yeah i got another thing in the mail today and it's from amazon it's called the five minute journal and i know they sell it to like urban outfitters it's really popular you guys have probably heard of it before but it's basically this journal and it has prompts for you so it has like a quote up here and then it has i'm grateful for what would make today great daily affirmations and then at night you write amazing things that's happened today and how could i made today better so it has morning and night prompts which is amazing because i've been wanting to like just like have a place to jot my gratitude down because i haven't been writing it down recently and i've been wanting 
wanting to so i feel like this is like the perfect thing because it has like the prompts like it's so easy it's already there for me it's literally like a five minute journal and i'm just going to keep this like on my bedside with a pen so i can always have access to it and i have no excuse not to write in it and i feel like this will just like start um your day off on like a really good note and end your night off on a really good note and it's like a mini reflection every single day like this is like a big monthly reflection this is like a mini daily reflection and i think this is for six months like the pages are enough for six months if you do it every single day so this would also be really cool to look back on in like a couple of years and see like at that phase that in your life again where you were at your older self is probably going to want to read this like i feel like it would just be so cool so yeah this is my challenge for myself this month and these upcoming months is to do these two journals and keep them up because sometimes i say that i'm gonna do something and i don't but i'm gonna do it before i wish i had so if you guys want to join me i'll have this uh book link down below and we can start doing this together because i feel like it's a perfect time it's the beginning of the month to start doing it so yeah it's literally may 31st today and it's june tomorrow so we're starting off on a fresh month so yeah i'm really really excited so yeah